Yo, what's up? This your boy Derek Brett here with uh, Sports Talk 365.com. I just want to continue on um, on uh, from uh, what I left off yesterday with Javion Clowney uh, signing and what occurred after that. There were some uh, reports coming out that he did, he was still deciding if he had uh, still deciding on whether he should join the Saints or the Titans, contrary to what a uh, report that came out from. Uh, ESPN's um, Dan Rossini that he signed with the Titans, and Josina Anderson came out and said that he was that she talked directly to Clowney, and that he has had he hadn't made up his mind yet. Well, later on, later on to the light and to the night and to the, the wee hours of the morning, he finally made his mind up. He decided to join the Tennessee Titans. It was done. It's done. It is what it is. Um, the Saints got to take care of business. So I say that to say. Marcus Davenport, you should be motivated like crazy to ball out this season. You should be. I'm just, I'm just being honest, man. You did have fans complaining about you. You being hurt all the time. You only been in the league three years, man. Been the year. The fans complaining about you being injured. You got analysts out here, Saints B Rod, saying that pretty much, you know, saying the same, the same thing as the fans. About you being um, not reliable, and the buzz on social media and Twitter was that they're gonna get they would bring somebody. The Saints were bringing somebody, bringing somebody that had three sacks last season to, I guess, come in for you, step in for you, and contribute. The guy had three sacks last year. Jadavion Clowney now has his highest number of sacks. And the season has been nine. He's never had double digit sacks. And that's playing with a um JJ Watt when he was with the Houston Texans. Seattle made a trade for him. They thought he was gonna be a big difference maker for the team. Was hurt was hurt for the majority of the season. Missed a lot of missed games with the Texans. He's missed games with the Seahawks. He's so we the Saints were trying to get a guy to come in that Come in and step in for for Marcus Davenport that has dealt with some injuries with a guy that, that that's injured himself. Answer that one. So I mean, I think the Saints got enough, man, to win a Super Bowl, to contend for a Super Bowl. Yeah, Marcus Davenport. All the guy has to do is stay healthy, man. He just has to stay healthy for the year. He had what? Six sacks last year, his second year, his second year before he got injured, yeah, was on on the pace to get at least ten sacks, man, ten to eleven sacks before he suffered the injury. Clowney had three last year, all last year. He played, and Clowney played more games than uh, Davenport last season. Explain that one. So, even his rookie year, Davenport was on a, a good uh, trajectory, traction, um, a good um pad, man. To get on um, a high number of sacks. He's just a raw talent, man, that can play. Saints gave up two draft picks for him. And he has to deliver this year, man. He has to. He has to stay healthy this year, man. It's important that we keep him. We, that, that important that he develops this year and become that that that, that um opposite defensive end on side of uh, on the other side of Cam Jordan. It's important. I'm just saying, man. So he should be ready to go this year, man. He should be like, after what has occurred over these last few days, he should be ready to go, man. Motivated to dominate in this league, man, and take his place as becoming one of the league's top young defensive ends, man. He can play. This guy can play. He can get after the quarterback, man. He's a great talent, man. So, I mean, the Saints are fine without your day, man, Clowney, man. They are fine. I don't know what made them... Go with the last, go wait till the last minute, two weeks up into the season to pursue this guy after the talks died down. You know, for what they give up for what um, Minnesota give up for uh, Yannick and uh, and Gakway, they could have did the Saints could have went after him. It was just, that's, if that's what only if that's what only uh, Jacksonville was giving up, we could have went after Yannick and Gakway. It was that concern. But the Saints, man, look, maybe they go after Clay Matthews. Who knows? 
But for right now, man, I think Marcus and the Saints got enough to uh, make a run to the Super Bowl, man. What has gotten the Saints in trouble these years, these past, let's see, three seasons is these crazy plays at the last minute, these fluke plays, these costly mistakes. So they got the guys, man, to make this thing happen. They do. They really do, man. So we'll see how it goes, man. Um, maybe look at uh, Clay Matthews um, in a few days from now. We'll see, man. I'll just stay put and keep and trust uh, Davenport to get it, get it going. But that's all I got for you, got for y'all right now, man. Give me a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Let me know how you feel. Do you think Marvin Davenport can be um, healthy enough to finish out the season and contribute to this team? Do you think the Saints should have went after Yannick Ngakwe? Do you think they should go after the um, trying to sign uh, Clay Matthews, who's still available? That's all I got for y'all for right now, man. Description box below. Check out uh, sportstalk365.com forward slash saints for the latest content on the Wall Saints organization. That's sportstalk365 slash forward slash. That's sportstalk365.com forward slash saints for the latest com uh, content on the Wall Saints organization. Have a best day. Peace.